Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Moses. It's been a really, really long time. This video is kind of beyond late and all the videos this week are I'm trying to catch you guys up for the new season. So this one's short just because I'm trying to get back into a rhythm, trying to get back into it. There's a little game playing in here. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, just know this is literally since the last episode, not the one that I dropped yesterday. Yesterday, I kind of tried to like, you know, ramp things up. I'm not making excuses or anything like that. Just um, I'm just moving back and forth. Was getting some stuff ready there was a lot going on and stuff so that's the only reason i just haven't been around but hopefully i'm back and i'm good and all that shout out to everyone that's been coming to the streams i got the face cam set up for the future and all that good stuff so i hope you guys enjoy i love you guys and let's get to work yo 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 what is going on youtube it's your boy most ball and welcome back to another episode of the no player market where i'm not allowed to buy anything or whatever I, well thankfully we're able to sell this year but i'm just saying but real talk at the end of the day no player market is what everyone's on right now right it's what everyone's on so i've been playing some domination we don't have to talk about this that's why i'm starting off on this but what we're gonna start off on is my unlimited attempt yes i attempted to play some unlimited and let me just say it did not go well we're gonna pick up where we left off yesterday which is trying to get some bulls players right we're trying to get at least one more we're missing one now we were able to lock in now for some reason i just wasn't meant to ever win in unlimited like honestly when people hit whites on you like, what are you really supposed to do? I fully understand the aspect that he was wide open, but like, still, man, it should be green or miss. Not to mention Austin Reeves just be doing wild things. And then these are the type of things that happen to me. Like, where's that ball going? Sometimes your destiny is just not to win, man. Sometimes that's all it is. Like, come on, boy. Come on, boy. Good shot. That's all I could say. This man kept torching me because just like... I didn't understand it, bro. I was playing pretty good defense throughout. And for whatever reason, Kobe could not score this game. But if it wasn't for PG, we would not be here, bro. Big shout out to Paul George. This was honestly the weirdest game Kobe's ever played for me. He just kept losing the ball. I could literally show you numerous attempts of me trying anything. And he just would not want the ball. Like completely not wants any part of it. And it got bad. And yeah, this was our first unlimited game in like two weeks. It was nice to get spanked. Nice rude awakening. Just like, yo, shout out to him for holding the ball too at the end. It told me that he's used to winning. He knows what he's supposed to do and all that. And like I said, I don't know what I would have done without PG, man. PG held it down a little bit with the 17 points. Uh, I got mad steals. Corver tried to give us some life. Kobe legitimately, when I get there, shows you that he had zero points and three turnovers. I don't know for what. I probably should have played him a little bit more. We got torched by Austin Reeves at the end of the day. We did make it to the Lunar New Year Deluxe reward, though. So let's see what we get. Another Amethyst. We got Slow Mo the other day from Salary Cap. Now we get a shooting guard, and hopefully this guy gives me some good luck. <laughs> Dad jokes, yeah. All I know is that's a little bit of money thanks to that because we spent it all trying to pull Bulls players yesterday. Here we are with our first attempt at Aaron Gordon, who we just got, right? We used AG for the first time, and honestly, I'm not using him again. This is it. I'm not a fan of this guy at all, but I had to show his first bucket. Honestly, this game wasn't my fault, bro. Like, I don't even know what was happening. Like, how is that not my rebounds? How do you even rebound that, bro? And then I get babied by this man. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Another rebound. Yeah, another one. I got to a point where I was so over this game, man. Like, I'm just... Oh, you know what I mean? Like, it's just one of those moments where you just feel like you can't do anything, right? Thankfully, we did start going on a little run right here. A little run was made. The issue came down to me not being able to play defense, bro. That's really what it came down to. I was getting scored on at will. Like, I even kept putting my Paul George on the point guard, right? I was trying to stay on that. And then I thought this was good defense. I thought a lot of things were good defense. And things just wouldn't stop falling. Once again, you guys need to see our savior man pg our biggest savior life is honestly hard without paul george man without pg i'd be so like lost if only kobe would have showed up like this man bro like every game he's here pg look at this we out in transition guess what time it is paul george do i need to say any more all i have to say is it didn't matter who i put on this dude i would put kobe on pg on and he would just straight up go to the basket 
basket every time. PG doing the same thing, the old rack attack for his 23rd bucket. Now I was able to get a couple stops here and that's cause I went into a zone. Hey, look at the inbounder, baby. Look at the inbounder. We back in business. The zone is really working, man. We got him flabbergasted. We could continue cutting at this right here. Carver, too much space. We subbed him in over Kobe cause we need someone to score. Look at this. Look at this, too much space. Reeves, come on, baby, what a comeback. You can't call it a comeback till, till, till it's over though, right? Cause, no, actually you could, you could. Look at that, we tied it up, man, what a run. And that was probably the end of the end. I don't know why they help off of anybody in this game. Paul George continued doing what he does. That should have been a foul, bro. But the fact that he's about to drop 30, Shows me he about this lifestyle. We had an opportunity to take our lead and I sold it. I sold it. That lead could have made the whole difference in the world. Thankfully, we did get a little bit better defensively because I gave up a lot of points. I ain't gonna lie. We were giving up points, points, points and we back at a tie game again. Even when I played excellent defense, this is what Mans would do, man. He would just cut to the basket and there was always at least one mismatch on the court. Reason being was, PG, shout out to him, man. 30 points. I was gonna say reason being is PG's on the point guard. Now this is where I messed up. I went back into a zone, which he clearly figured out by now, right? He, the zone did stop him a lot in the third, and it's hard to cover corners in a zone. I was so stupid. I don't know why or what I was thinking right there. Our patience and figuring things out got us here though, so we were hopeful that last minute we could do something. Now, my Sydney Moncrief was injured. I did not even notice that. But thankfully, Paul George was our savior and completely choked from fatigue, bro. He had zero business missing that at the end of the day. And great cut, man. Great, great cut. It's absolutely devastating that that was the only three I missed. That was the biggest shot of the game. He was really tired. That's all it came down to. Like, he had no help. Shout out to Reeves, the only other person to somewhat show up. Kobe, I've been struggling with so bad. So my game plan going into the next game after everything that just happened was feeding Kobe early. I literally told myself I'm not doing anything but getting Kobe involved from the jump. Like, that's just what we got to do. And if you take a look at this game, the second we did that, it got everyone so much easier looks. So that brings us back to Kobe being the main focal point i don't know why i went away from that to begin with it genuinely wasn't my fault like i don't feel like it was i feel like he was just struggling and we know pg gonna be there we're off to a way better start this game like straight up pg still dropping buckets and we just feel like champions man we feel like champs kobe doing kobe things straight up all around you know what it was it was the in-season tournament court man it kind of got us going man i wanted kobe to win that thing and yeah let's go baby let's go austin come on man honestly i don't know what was happening we just would not miss this game it was really just from what happened last game i was just on a whole different level and it wasn't just on offense our defense was crack a lack a lack into our patience was great. Like, we just really clicked this game. It really was that we lost back to back and we finally got a quick. The Volts forgot all about us because we've been losing, but we got D Wade. D Wade, you knew I was exchanging that for something and I was going for the non base pack. That win also got us to the Ascension board. Yes, big Ascension. And I don't know why I was drawing this weird picture just going sideways diagonal because it really did not pay off. I realized I had enough picks to keep going that way. So I was like, let's do it so we could have a little little thing. And all I got to say is I can't wait to keep getting more Ascension picks because I need better players to sell. Next game, we matched up versus the same dude. And all I have to say is this game was so different for no reason. Like, I just followed him shooting a three. Who does that? And now, I'm not going to show y'all this game like that. But look, he started flopping and I don't get it. I don't get it. But it is what it is. He was getting a lot more different things to go down. Like, look at this right here. Like, I jumped with Embiid perfectly. 100% smothered and he still made it. We honestly started, I don't know, I don't know what it was, but shout out to Sydney. I think that was his first three for us. All I'm going to say is I should have been the one flopping, bro, not you. Because what is that? Why is Chet not getting any blocks, man? Frustration is all I could think of. Shout out to Sydney Moncrief for showing up this game. Somehow we ended up down and it just got bad from here. Like that fade, man, I don't know if you bought that life, but I guess he was. All I have to say is 2K bails people out, man. It bails people out. 
out all day, every day. This was not his first fight. That was his second. And now I'm like, ah, oh, like I can't believe it. I was honestly like kind of upset after that. I was upset. I was like, I need to, I need to come back, man. 2K never gives me whites. You know they would never do such a thing. Like it's impossible. But transition three, Reeves, way to run to that corner, sir. We have an opportunity here to tie it or take the lead. I see a wide open PG. He not 13, bro. No, no PG 13. Rated R, straight up. It has to be an absolute horror to play against Paul George, man. Absolutely, positively. And this is why I suck at this game. I didn't mean to click that. I just was clicking X or whatever. I inbounded him the ball. He went with another one of those fades. I guess he knows Penny's fade. And now I'm down for no reason. Speaking of down for no reason, I turn the ball over again. And he makes it a four-point game. Now, you guys remember how in the beginning I told you guys this dude flopped, man. Y'all remember that well, right? I don't know how I didn't steal that. But he really was, man. Like, the fact that I smoked him last game and never did that once. Like, I'm not about that life. The fact that you feel like you have to do that just kind of triggers no it doesn't really it, it triggers me it used to at least like now i'm trying my best to like all right man he's just not used to winning type vibes my job was simple and that was to keep the pressure on kobe was doing just that a long time ago i would have to keep reminding myself dude flopped do this this that this that but not anymore now it's in the back of my head like straight up shout out to sydney again cutting it to one all i'm thinking about right now is this dude paused me and i need to make him pay for it literally make him pay as he's in his like he's just not feeling it bro he really not about this lifestyle we gotta stop we have an opportunity to take the lead and i'm being patient i give it to tyson that could have been an l1 too we took the lead and now all we have to do is get a stop we got the lock takeover and he still hits that on me i don't even know what that is bro he's still flopping people are weird i'm being extremely patient here as we take the lead again with 28 seconds, literally all we need is a stop. You would think with the takeover, we can get a stop, right? You would think that's what would happen here as no, no, I'm there. But of course, he's going to get the rebound. We got to chase back. That's the worst thing about an offensive rebound is trying to find the body on somebody. And here he is. Here he is. Good take. Great pass. I, thankfully, it was a two, not a three. And now we're tied. I'm not going to lie. Looking back at this, I regret not going all the way there with Kobe. Maybe I could have got a foul. I don't know. I, I looked at PG. I thought that was the plan all along. Now, here we are in overtime. His picket fade off a of fade fade. And he hits it to put him up three. It's overtime. So I'll show y'all every bucket. Shout out to Kobe. I was just playing so dumb sometimes. Sometimes I'm dumb, dumb, dumb. And that's a crazy fade. I hate Jokic's fade, bro. He really the joker. A whole lot of time was coming off the clock here. I wanted to give that to Middleton. I see you, Kobe. That's enough space, honestly. That's too much space at the end of the day. One minute remaining. One minute. I'm trying to be around. I'm trying to be there and I'm not there. We know who got us here though right we know who got us here kobe bean brian let's go another lead i really don't get why or how or where or any of that why we kept getting scored on so easily if you guys have been watching the episodes you know this is my shot that is my shot all day every day i shot a late and he paused me bro i really just lost the game and then he paused me, right? Like, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to foul. I had enough time between. Here, I kind of have to. Here, I have to try to figure something out because that's way too easy. But I didn't. I didn't figure it out fast enough. He flopped on me. Now, I'm upset. I'm definitely upset again. Like, that. I made that happen, bro. There's no reason that should have been happening. I know the 2K gods are looking down at me like, yo, yo, most balling. That's me, baby. You can't pause me. You can't flop on me and count me out, bro. I get in my own. Uh, you get me. Uh, you get me hyped up, baby. The fact that pump fake worked. Shout out to Middleton, who hasn't been on the team that long. He really did his thing. Here, I'm like, you got to go straight defense, bro. Let's see if the defense can pay off. And I'm just going to say it right now. This is so stupid of me. I was waiting for him to... He got it, bro. He got it. He got, he was, I don't know. I was waiting for him to do some backdoor. One second left is way too much time. I should have knew a shot was going to go off. And watch it again. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. I don't know why I didn't just control PG and watch it like right there. I don't know. I was, it was too late. 
It was too late. The second I saw it, it was too late. I was watching the lob and I choked bad, man. Like, this kid had no business beating us. I want you guys to witness this run, man. John Morant, who hasn't been playing as much lately since we got Sydney and Austin, but just witness the run. Because he's a runner, he's a track star. Just know that. He straight up is, man. One of my favorite players in the league. We were on a mission, man. We were down 10 at some point, but we started cooking, cook, cook, cooking. It's all like Kyle Corver, man. I like this dude so much. Like, the fact that I didn't never thought I would run Kyle Corver in Unlimited, like on our main squad. But why wouldn't you run somebody that's straight up automatic cash money records? Now, this is going to be our last ever Unlimited game for a reason, like straight up. Like you see how I, I hit every shot. It has to be green and everyone else is not. So I was just like, I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to talk about it. Unlimited is not for us. It's not for us. Thanks for the MT. But we taking a break from that straight up. Not again. Not going back there. Nope. Not today. Yeah, I know this video just kind of just shut off. Like, just completely ended. I don't know why it was recorded like this. But like I said, it's just so it could be a little shorter. And then we'll keep going. But that's pretty much the end of my unlimited runs, bro. No more unlimited. It's not for me. Just kidding. Just kidding. The team's getting better as we go. So as the team gets better, I get better. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And I apologize for my lack of, uh, lack of being good at this game, low-key.